my name is Michaela Hines and I'm currently attending MGCCC in Gautier as a sophomore. I'm also a member of the Honors College. That's what I'm here to talk about today. Over the course of the semester, I've had the opportunity to work on something called an Honors Contract. The Honors College requires that I fulfill two contracts by the end of the semester. After speaking with Dr. Gomez, I was able to contract my Spanish 2 class. Dr. Gomez paired me with a Spanish teacher at Colmer Middle School. At the middle school, I volunteer at least three hours a week by working alongside the teacher in the classroom and also during her planning period. Through this electronic portfolio, I've been able to divide my 24 volunteer hours into four categories. First is my interactive activities. After talking to my teacher about my strengths and weaknesses, I discovered I am good with technology. I decided to take the materials she had been covering over the span of a few weeks and turn it into a Kahoot as a reviewing tool. If a few students missed a particular question, we would review it together as a class. The first Kahoot I created covered a multitude of topics, including days of the week, seasons and weather, conversation, numbers, and telling time. The second Kahoot was more focused on culture in that it solely covered El Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead. My teacher decided she liked how the cahoots worked for her class, so we actually turned the cahoots into a quiz grade. I was able to download individual student scores into an Excel spreadsheet and calculate their grades from there. Next is lesson preparation. My teacher's planning period was between 12.30 and 1.30. She stays very busy during this hour by writing emails, making phone calls, and planning a lesson for the next day. During this time, I would assist her by doing her smaller tasks. These tasks include running copies and grading students' papers. If she didn't have any other tasks for me to do, she would have me look over worksheets to familiarize myself with the day's lesson. After studying the material, I would be prepared to help a student if needed. Lesson preparation has taught me the importance of teachers using their planning period wisely. Next is the learning management system. While volunteering at Coleman Middle School, I was able to learn how to input grades into an online gradebook. Specifically, Colmer Middle School utilizes the SAMS program. The teacher whom I was paired with opened the program, showed me where to insert the scores and other necessary information. The pictures here represent an example of the process. First, I graded a class's verb quizzes where they were given the verb and were expected to give the definition. After grading their quizzes, I was able to select the grade category, such as classwork, participation, quiz, and more, input the student's scores next to their name, title the submission, and write comments on any given student's scores. Utilizing the SAMS LMS allowed me to experience how important it is for teachers to keep their graded papers in one organized space. And finally, assistant teaching and tutoring. As students completed activities on their own in class, I was offered the opportunity to walk around the classroom and assist students as they needed help. A common problem students have faced this semester was conjugating verbs in Spanish. One particular student stayed after class to receive tutoring a few times a week. The instructor allowed me to work with this student. I explained the concept of conjugation, gave the student a conjugation chart to use, and had the student write different conjugations about five times each. Aside from tutoring, I was given the floor to use the cahoots I created. I was given the entire class, classroom's attention as I used the resource, and I was able to review the questions that students missed. Finally, Dr. Gomez and Ms. Caldwell, the two people I worked with to create this project. Dr. Gomez is a language arts professor at MGCCC's Jackson County campus. Dr. Gomez received his Master of Arts in the Teaching Languages and his Doctorate in Instructional Technology and Design from the University of Southern Mississippi. Dr. Gomez aided in this honors contract by pairing me with Ms. Caldwell at Comer Middle School. Without his experience and networking abilities, I would have never had this opportunity. A quote from Dr. Gomez. He strongly supports this program because it connects the community college with future MGCCC students from the Pasadena Goshe School District. The MGCCC honor students are making a positive difference by going into these schools and helping students learn Spanish and assisting the English language learners improve their command of the English language. This partnership between MGCCC and Colmer Middle School has been in effect since 2014, and I'm so glad I was able to continue it. 
On the bottom right, Ms. Balbina Caldwell is a Spanish teacher at Colmore Middle School in Pascagoula, Mississippi. She has taught at Colmore for four years, but she has taught in total 19 years. She received her bachelor's at the University of Maryland and earned her Master of Arts in Teaching with an emphasis in curriculum. She has taught every age group ranging from kindergarten to college. Ms. Caldwell was my mentor throughout the entire process of completing this contact, contract. She allowed me the opportunity to volunteer in any of her classes. Without her guidance and flexibility, I wouldn't have been able to volunteer as many hours as I did. Also, a special thank you to Dr. Nix, who is the principal at Comer Middle School. He allowed me to have this learning experience in his school. And lastly, Mr. Miller. I would like to thank Mr. John Miller. Mr. Miller is a math instructor at MGCCC's Jackson County campus. On top of all the math classes that he teaches, he is also the Honors College Director and Phi Theta Kappa Chapter Advisor. As head of our Honors College, Mr. Miller has the right to accept or deny any contract proposals we create. He accepted the proposal that Dr. Gomez and I created to work with Ms. Caldwell. By doing so, Mr. Miller has allowed me this great opportunity and made this contract possible. Volunteering at Colmer Middle School has been a great experience for me as I'm an English major and intend to teach secondary education in the future. This contract has encouraged me in my career choice. Again, thank you to everyone who made this contract possible.